Good morning, everyone, and welcome to your February 27th Monday morning Baker to Vegas update. I appreciate all of you checking out this video. We've got a lot of information. We are only four weeks and four days away from race day. That came really quick. All right, let's get at it. If you haven't done so already, make sure that we clicked on that subscribe button so we are getting all the latest updates. Uh, and use the channel, please. Uh, there's a lot of information on there. There's a lot of how-to videos. Uh, things are starting to get really busy on my end. Uh, it's not that uh, I'm pushing you off, but I, I've done the videos to, to help you guys out. So please utilize them. Uh, jump on that channel first and see if that information is there. And if you don't find it on the channel, then go ahead and reach out to me with that question. And then like I've said, come race day weekend, we're going to be putting some stuff out there. Uh, as soon as I land, I'll start updating everybody on, on what's going on. So make sure that you, you're subscribed to our channel. All right, the topics uh, for this week's uh, video. Here we go. Uh, we're going to talk about the registration system, communications form, estimated time, category changes, the AED machine, Memorial Slideshow, runner registration, and the upcoming meeting and shirt distribution. It's a lot of stuff, so I'm going to try and get through it really quickly. Registration system. If you haven't logged in in a while, please make sure to do so. That's the only way you can submit your estimated time. You cannot send it to me. It has to be submitted through the system. I highly suggest that you do it now. Do not wait until Wednesday and then start worrying about how do you log in. Uh, write down your passwords, save them somewhere, whatever you got to do. Just make sure that you know your username and your password and jump into that system. Uh, I also suggest that you mess around with it a little bit because you're going to be on there quite a bit uh, from this point forward. The communications form, a lot of you guys are sending it in. I think we still have about 80 teams or so that have not submitted it. That is due uh, this Saturday, March 4th. Make sure that you get it in. There is no need for anybody to receive a penalty for, for not completing that form. All you've got to do is, is jump in there. There is a how-to video. Uh, on how to do it and just fill out the information. Everyone must complete that form. So please just make sure that you take care of that. Like I mentioned, that's just a silly penalty. Estimated time, uh, you're going to, as I already uh, talked about, you're gonna put that into the system, uh, log in, uh, go to edit and uh, enter in your time. There is a how-to video on exactly how to do that. Uh, make sure that uh, you're, you're relatively accurate on that because if you're too fast, you're going to get stopped. And if you're too slow, you're going to get pulled off the course. So I'm not saying that to, to scare anybody. Just make sure that you take some time and, and really try and figure out what your runner's pace is going to be. So category changes, a lot of things happen, and I understand, and uh, more importantly, the the board understands. However, if you have to change categories, we want you to do so. We want you running in the proper category, but just understand that uh, that may take you out of the running for a mug and a plaque. Okay, the important thing is, is that we get you into the, the proper category. You will still keep your overall finish, uh, but if you have to change categories and there's not enough mugs and plaques, uh, you will be left out of that. AED, if you have one, bring it. I've said it in a couple videos now. You can save someone's life. Uh, make sure that uh, if your agency has one and allows you to bring it, to bring it out, or if you have enough funds in that uh, team uh, budget, grab one and, and uh, bring it on out. Uh, if you want more reason as to why that's so important, jump onto YouTube, uh, Baker to Vegas, running 120 mile relay through the desert. That's the uh, Manhattan Beach story. It's an absolutely great story. Uh, and uh, it talks about the importance of the AED there. Memorial Slideshow due March 17th. Remember these are for people uh, that have died since the last Baker to Vegas. This will be played at the awards show. So make sure that you get that information in. There is a how-to video, I believe, on how to do that. Uh, runner registration. Make sure that you're sending out uh, the runner's invites. Uh, these uh, are not, not all agencies are accepting the bulk emails. Uh, they're getting bounced back. People are calling me and saying, hey, my people aren't getting the, uh, the emails. 
One option is to put them one at a time and then try two, so forth and so on, and see how many you can get through, see what that magic number is. Uh, because I know if you go single, it'll work. But the easiest way is just ask your runners for a personal email address and put it out that way. The March 1st meeting, 10 a.m. at the Elysian Park Academy. We'll start distributing shirts at 8.30. We're going to shut down at 9.45 because I've got to get up for the meeting. Uh, so please come on out. Grab your shirts. I don't want to take all the bags to Vegas. They're all packed up and ready to go. I've only got about a dozen teams that have not put in their shirt orders. Uh, for those dozen of you that have not completed your shirt orders, my quantity is very limited. So, um, you know, be one of the first ones and you might get what you what you want. I said might because, uh, like I said, stock is limited. I thank you all for your time. I tried to get through this as quickly as possible. I apologize for the longer video, but a lot of information. Uh, stay safe out there. Continue to train. And we'll talk soon, everyone.